when you come here to present, don't feel obliged to respond to people. And my plea also to those who are listening is just note down the questions as, as people are presenting. Then you'll be given a question and answer segment. And also a disclaimer to especially trust. Uh, you will hear that people are raising a lot uh, of jabs, or let me say negatives around triple C. That's not because they have forgotten that the problems in Zimbabwe, the main problems in Zimbabwe, uh, are being directed and authored by Zanu PF. But it's because when you go to church, you'd rather re rebuke uh, a fellow congregant than spend time insulting the devil because the devil is already beyond redemption. And I had to say this before Zanu PF members arrive here. So, we'll, because we gave you hope, guys, we still give you the hope. And you are representing us there because it's, low, it's a long way up to 2028 when we hope that some of the things that we raise here as constructive criticism, you are going to forward them to your party so that they change some of the ways they do their things. Maybe they will start singing something else instead of singing Nero Nero Fambanepor in Parliament. Uh, now, our next speaker, as I've already introduced, is Misty. I don't know if he's a comrade, he's a champion, your change champion, trust love. <laughs> I knew him as the interim chair of South Africa province for TP for, for, for <laughs> TP. He will introduce himself because Chabang has changed things. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> My name is Trust um, Ketani Ntiane and uh, Love. Um, <clears throat> I represent this organization, uh, uh, this political party called uh, Triple C. And uh, let me just start by saying, you know, when uh, a country changed its name from Rhodesia to Zimbabwe, uh, the same people who were in Rhodesia did not change. They were the same people. They, uh, whites remained whites, blacks remained wh blacks, and, uh, and shown us remained shown us, and they really remained shown us. So when we formed Triple uh, C, obviously uh, the people who were the majority in the MDC, uh, or the people who were providing a dissenting voice against the status quo against NPF. Uh, the people who had come in, uh, together in 1999 and provided an alternative voice, the same people, most of this, those people, they followed the Triple C. So I just want to demystify the, the fact that uh, uh, people are saying, no, this is just the MDC, which is the ZANPF narrative to say this is just the MDC, which, which became Triple C. Triple C is a new party, but even though it is a new party, the people uh, who are there, uh, mostly its leaders, were the people who were in the MDC. So uh, that to, just to clarify, so that people do not confuse us with the, <laughs> the MDC. But again, before I even come to my uh, to present my thoughts and show, share my thoughts on today's topic. Uh, I, I had uh, uh, Mr. Mnubi is saying that the, the only part with the, an ideology is our esteemed uh, Zab. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true, it's true. It has yes, an ICP. It's what? ZCP. ZCP. Oh, okay. Yes, sorry. Sorry for correcting. ZEP. I, I will tend to differ with you there. I think the last time I checked, uh, the definition of an ideology is a system of ideas and ideals, mm. and uh, especially uh, those of economic and the political theory. And when we look into our own age, we we'll see the ideas, the ideals of political theories there. We are a party that uh, actually 
uh, focus or that drive uh, the social change in our community, in our society, in our country. We are a, a, a party that want to bring change in uh, in the lives of our people in the country. And of course, we're talking of democratic change, we're talking of the, the democratic uh, principles. And uh, I'm not going to dwell that so much, but just to indicate that we are not an ideological less party. <clears throat> well, there is uh, uh, perhaps before I go to my main speech, uh, let me just say thank you, uh, diaspora uh, leadership, uh, comrade Ma. When I heard you, oh, you, 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 you wear different hats. I want to thank you for uh, being the director of the organization that has brought us together, and it's very important that we share uh, ideas, we engage and uh, uh, challenge each other so that you have a way forward because most of the time people they talk uh, uh, isolated uh, each one in his or in or corner and uh, people think we are right uh, as triple c we are not scared of debate we are not scared of criticism uh, that helps us to to grow that helps us to understand uh, the dynamics in our political setups, uh, uh, to understand uh, the issues that really betrays our people. So do not be scared to criticize. And I feel happy when I get criticized because we thrive on those uh, criticism and it helps us to be uh, well informed. And so thank you very much once more. To begin with, uh, I want to say. Um, the history of the, our country was, uh, of, of our struggle for democracy was uh, comprehensively given by Nwe and the Mabena. It's true that we come from a very contested uh, elections from 1980 to 1990, uh, uh, but it became so critical in 1999 when the people from all walks of life like the labor, the faith-based and uh, the academics uh, and the other formations in the country decided to come together and of course uh, from, let me not burden you so much about the, the history because we all understand, we all know that, we have all reached that. But uh, uh, it forms the basis of some of our arguments that we are going to uh, present to you today. To say, we came, uh, the formations uh, of political movements, that of political parties, which is the MDC, and, uh, which became uh, MDCT, and, and the MDCN, and the MDC 99, and the, of course our old uh, esteemed Zapu, which was Zapu in the Zanu, and uh, which became Zapu under our late comrade uh, Tawengwa, and the other, and, and the Stole uh, party, and others. They were formations of these formations of these political parties mostly was to respond to the system that was established by Zanu PF when they came into power. This system uh, is very vicious, uh, it's a brutal system, it's, it's a system, it's a well-organized system that is meant to uh, retain ZANPF into power as we speak up to today. This is the system that um, we as Zimbabweans in those political uh, formations we wanted to challenge and to change and to also uh, argue that uh, that system is the one that brought down our economy, that brought down our standard of living, that created the crisis and poverty of our people. So we want our people to uh, to have a, to respond to that system and change the system completely. Let me fast forward our discussions to uh, 
the formation of triple C. Triple C, it was formed after realizing that uh, as leadership, we were in this, most of them people who were, who were in the MDC, we had all MDC alliance in particular. We were dragged to courts by the system. Our properties were taken and uh, everything that we thought uh, was owed by us was taken through the proxy uh, friends of the system, uh, which was then led by our uh, current uh, Mr. Monzora. We did not only lose the property, we lose our access to, to, to finances. We also, uh, our MPs were recalled. So the issue of recalling the, uh, the MPs did not start today, it started yesterday. After losing all that, they, own, they, they realized that, that was as if it, it was not enough. They also took the name. They also took. So we were left nameless. So we were driven in a corner and said, we as Zimbabweans, we drive the agenda of most Zimbabweans. We drive the interest of the majority in Zimbabwe. Let us form a, 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 a political party. You would remember that you remember that the first, even when we, we assembled together and say let's form a political party, we came with the name. Before we went to register, that name Zanpf system had already the rent to, to register that name. Uh, it was citizens convergence. <laughs> we tried again to have another name. They also they were it looked how that, that showed you how serious the Zanpf system identified us as a threat to their citadel power. So we realized we then started with a strategy uh, which uh, some of you might not be uh, <clears throat> agree with me but is allowed to disagree we called it uh, strategic ambiguity strategic ambiguity what is we it's a, a system where we do not reveal everything we do not uh, tell you exactly uh, <coughs> how we move forward but our people or our constituencies they know and they know very well who we are and how we are doing things and we are glad that we managed to traverse the breadth and width of uh, and length of our country and we managed to inform the people uh, on how we operate as triple c this brings me to the issue of why uh, are you saying you are structureless at the same time you say you got structures? That ambiguity kicks in. We know very well that we have structures, but given the experience that the system is hunting us left and right. They would use the same constitution we have to take us into their captured courts and uh, destroy us. They will use the same structures that you have to make sure that they can destroy us. We are in, we have developed certain systems. We are a, a, we have a national assembly, which means that we also have a provincial assembly, district assemblies. Now we have assemblies. I think some of you have listened to our president last yesterday. You heard that we have, sit, we have been sitting to an, uh, for the 18th time as a national assembly. 
to make decisions. So we know very well who we are, we know our structures, our structures, we know uh, how we function. We give each other our roles and tasks on how we function. Uh, some of you might have heard about task force, some of you might have heard umkwazo. Uh, that's where or how we give ourselves roles to play. Now, let me fast forward to the elections. We had to have the election. We realized that ZANPF wanted to have a, part, a one part state for all along. You remember that uh, uh, it was uh, Robert Mugabe's uh, wish, his uh, belief that they was, uh, he was wanted to establish a one part state. Upon criticism, he then established, you know, uh, proxy uh, opposition. Of course, the real opposition was ZAP. That was the real opposition, but you know how he destroyed ZAP and formed a unit accord, uh, pressuring uh, the ZAPU into, into unit accord, into submission after the, the, the Gukra Hund and all the massacres that we all know. <clears throat> so we said no, but we cannot uh, boycott the election and stand as there because there are no enough reforms. We, we are going to, uh, to, to face the bull by its horns. We do not want to give up the political space in Zimbabwe to the enemy or the system. We said, let's, fi let's face it. Let's fight. We know the system, we knew that the system will not uh, announce the proper results even if we won by 99%. We knew that. But we also wanted to indicate to the world and to show to the world that uh, there are Zimbabweans who are prepared to differ with this current system, with the, diff the current government, with, to differ uh, with ZANPF. We, that's how, that's why we had to engage with uh, the SADI community, the AU, uh, the international community to say we need, we, 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 we actually asked the, uh, the same system to, to invite the, the observers. When the observers, I thought that there would be time for questions. Time. I know I was sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it's a question. Sorry about that. Now, the system didn't know that the observers who had also done our SGPC, we had also done our international relations properly, we had uh, uh, articulated our message in the region, uh, in AU and international community. And we wanted the people of the international community to come and see how wicked and uh, how manipulative uh, the the system of ZANPF is and uh, we did that you would remember pre-elections as according to the SADIC report not only according to the SADIC report but as according to, our, to the, what we witnessed there was no freedom of uh, assembly we had to force it. People were not allowed, we were not allowed to campaign freely. Our people, our agents were brutalized, they were beaten. Uh, you know, some of the rallies, more than 80 rallies were dissipated by ZANU PF. And uh, we, 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 but we stood our ground until the elections took place. And when the election took place, of course, you know what happened on the election, uh, during the election. And our, our, our most important uh, constituencies, which are, uh, of course, where we dominate, there was voter suppression. There were no ballot papers on the place. Mostly Bulawa, Manika, and Narare, where we know we dominate even Masingo, where we know we dominate in terms of support, the ballot papers were surprised. 
they were not even given in other uh, places. The ballot papers were not even They only uh, got to, to the polling station the next day. To such an extent that we got <coughs> nearly a million people who could not vote. And that is a big chunk. And ZANPF know that most of those people were going to vote for the opposition. <coughs> I say nearly, nearly uh, between 700 to a, to a million people. And uh, we also witnessed uh, the issue of the voters' role. The voters' role was only given in the last minute. And even the one that we got was not analyzable, was not researchable. That voters' role uh, was uh, full of uh, a lot of irregularities. It was a voters' role which still have ghost voters, a voters' role which still, uh, if checked, uh, got, uh, uh, yeah, ghost voters. So it was one of the areas that uh, ZANPF used to, to, to rig us. I know that I'm repeating some of the things that you know very well, but it's important that we share, we remind each other that of the terrain that we walked, we passed through. We have an issue, of course, of uh, uh, the, 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 the patriotic bill, which was uh, uh, in, uh, provided injustice in our system, in, in our government, in, in our society, where people were not allowed now to speak, to, uh, to express themselves freely. Uh, so many uh, violations of uh, our constitutional rights there. And lastly, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the elections, was that or even though on the day of elections it was regarded as peaceful and, 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 and calm, but the manipulation was so huge to the extent that uh, there was this organization called FAS, Forever Association of Zimbabwe. This was like a, a quasi a military uh, organization that is attached to, Z to ZANU that supported ZANU. First made sure that people were to be, uh, you know, whipped into line to vote for, for them. And it happened glaringly, uh, as reported by, by, by Sadi. You know, uh, I'm so much uh, worried and concerned that while we have all these reports our people are being diverted or distracted from focusing on the main issues that it fails or the main challenges that faces Zimbabwe. The challenge that we should do as a, as a society, work together, fight together, and challenge the current uh, system of ZANPF. People tend to look to the victim. You know, from the advent of democracy or democratic process in Zimbabwe, always the perpetrator was ZANPF and its system. The victim was always uh, the primary focus of, 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 uh, of blame. People blamed our father, Uba Mkau Ngomo, but he was the victim. Came Edgar Taker, the people blamed, blamed Taker. Came also, uh, you know, I think there was Stolle also, the people blamed uh, Stolle. Came MDC, the people blamed MDC and Swangrai. Now that we have another, uh, the Triple C, that have created havoc, that have created challenges, serious uh, problems for ZANPF. People are diverted and they are made to buy into the narrative of blaming the opposition. We are not saying that we are perfect as a party. 
But you understand that in the struggle, in the fight against this system, they are likely to be uh, weaknesses. And then the fact, the, pro, the challenge is that people are made to focus on the challenges, uh, all the weaknesses of the fight. You know, this one uh, guy who uh, is a saying that the problem of an African is that when you are fighting for justice with another hand, you will be fighting uh, your own people trying to fight to, to resist blows from your own people with another hand. The very people you are trying to fight for their justice, the, for their freedom, you will be trying to say, oh, my, my brothers and sisters, my comrades, let's, uh, I'm fighting the enemy here. But you end up fighting with one hand because the other hand is trying to, you know, to fight, I mean, to restrain your own comrades. This is what, I've, this is what we are witnessing. But then, okay, first uh, <coughs> checking again to uh, the SADC uh, report was very clear that elections were in, uh, flawed, uh, the process was flawed, uh, the outcome is that there were irregularities and the outcome of the election, the election uh, did not meet the standards uh, of elections and that we used uh, the, uh, no, the, as the SADC uh, report it reflected, they used our own constitution, our own electoral laws, their own guidelines as, uh, as revised in 2021. Despite all that, ZANPF wants us to believe otherwise. In fact, they disingenuously attacked the message. They disingenuously attacked uh, Dr. Nevasim uh, Mum and labeled him as the Western puppet. And it's only not him. My, you know, my, my own uh, concern with that, if you look at it, they targeted only Sadiq report. But we, did, we had also the Carter report. We had the AU report. I did not hear them attacking uh, good luck Jonathan, the former Nigerian president, who gave a very clear report that Zimbabwe's elections also were flawed, were short of the minimal standard. So it is it shows that ZANPF actually, uh, they always create narratives uh, to dispatch or to destroy any voice that seems to be uh, representing the interests of the majority in a country. So in that context, it is very clear that the international community, of course, uh, including European Union and others, are against what happened in Zimbabwe, are saying elections were flawed. It was on that basis that the C calls for new, fresh elections, which of course people will easily dismiss that as a, a daydream, a, pipe, a pipeline dream. But we are not only saying that. We are saying that as a party, if, even if fresh elections may not happen, at least let us have a transitional authority, a transitional government. I know that the ZANU-PF, uh, they, they, they want GNU, but uh, they are afraid, they are ashamed to talk about it. Uh, because obviously they, they know very well that they will not be able to run that, gov that, that, that country without the opposition. They will not be able to run that country successful for the next five years. They are away. But they will, they've dismissed everything to say, no, we don't want anything. Elections were one free and fair. Elections were, 
okay, we are not going back there, we will run this country. But we know what is happening in our country right now. I just heard that uh, there's a new currency that has been formed that has been introduced by Mnangagwa's, uh, announced by Mnangagwa's son, who is now the Deputy Minister of Finance. And, uh, but it won't help anything. Like our own uh, Honorable Tendai Biti always say, these, are, these guys are gananda of, of, of corruption. These are actually uh, bishops of corruption. Uh, bishops of Luti, they are. They have not yet repented. They are still doing the same. They are all still going to do the same. Now, as Triple C, we also expect that uh, very soon Sadiq is going to hold a summit. On uh, we expect that Zimbabwe will be on the agenda. And the outcome of that summit, we expect that they will pronounce something regarding their election, their, their election report, the SAD uh, report. Uh, in, in particular, uh, of course, it was uh, the SAD uh, Troika leaders who, who <coughs> are going to make those presentations. We were also aware that ZANPF also had responded uh, to, 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 to SAD report. They have also denied, they also uh, uh, making the representation very well. But we are saying that after the, the, that report, we are going to map a way forward properly. <coughs> we are going to be informed by that report that is going to come or the resolutions of SADI. But as a party also, we have our own uh, resolutions we are pushing uh, the interests of our people we are um, saying against all odds uh, we have the issue of uh, sorry let me talk also comment on the issue of um, our members in parliament why we had to come to to join the, this very government uh, that we are are fighting against we are saying these elections are not uh, we're not we sham elections, we don't recognize this government, and that is very true. But given the political landscape in Zimbabwe and in the region, if you are going to say uh, we are going to rely on SADC alone, you are going to have challenges because they will see that the, the, because what if tomorrow Sadi comes up and say no you guys you can you still have to have to engage on your own and uh, maybe do reforms for 2028 you see as a party we have to guard what we call the zones of autonomy even the elections were rigged even in a stolen election even in those sham processes but they were able to not to they fail they failed to rig everything they rigged but they failed to rig everything so the little that they failed to rig is what we keep we know that they've rigged the little that they could not steal is what we keep they have stolen, yes, but you know when you find your know, house, criminals have uh, 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 vandalized your house and they've stolen uh, furniture and they left a bed and they left something in the kitchen, you cannot throw away everything and say because uh, these are criminals. And when you re keep your bed, you keep your food stuff, you keep whatever is left, it's not a justification that, uh, that the criminals were good. It's not a recognition of that criminal. It's not a recognition of those, uh, of those thieves. So this is what has happened. We are saying no. Despite what you have done, we don't recognize you guys, we don't recognize this government. This government is, 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 came out of legitimacy and anything that came out of a flawed process is illegitimate. But we are saying, we, 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 because you left other places, you know, you could not steal other, uh, 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 other areas. 
we keep those. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not proud of what has happened in Zimbabwe. We are not proud and we are not uh, celebrating uh, going into, into government, I mean, uh, going into parliament. We know very well that the process was compromised, that that parliament is compromised. But we are saying, with the little that is there, let us save our people. Let us save the interests of our people. But not only focusing on that, I guess you all know that our, our president is not, will not be in parliament. And he is, uh, I guess you all know that he, will, he, he would also wish to be in government, but not in this kind of government. We are fighting for uh, reforms, we are fighting for justice, we are fighting for freedom, we are fighting for, uh, to change the system. We are fighting for our people to get better life in Zimbabwe. Uh, I know I'm given enough time to, to speak as I like, but I think I've spoken enough uh, for now. Uh, some of the issues that you have raised, I've noted them down. <coughs> I will only respond to them when uh, when Q&A time uh, is given. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Comrade Trust Lovo. I think this is a first, and I will tell you why. Uh, despite, uh, in fact, let me say, on top of the good presentation that you gave, which I would say is a very plausible argument that you are presenting, this is the first time I have ever listened to a triple C person making such a long presentation without mentioning Nelson Jamis. <laughs> I think he deserves uh, a cap of hands. It's the first time. He never mentioned even me by name even once. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I will hope that when you come back, you will also respond to this. You gave an analogy of thieves breaking into your house, stealing a lot, and then you deciding to keep what remained. But I would say the correct analog would be you are playing a match, a soccer match, you lose 3-2, you say the referee is biased, the other team, you don't recognize the three goals that were scored by the other team, but you want to keep the two goals that you, you scored and you say you still want a replay, but you want to start from two goals. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're going to keep that and then you're going to respond to it.